I don't have a favorite color. Now, normally that might not be uh, something that would be a particular topic of conversation when it came to a video, but this actually does lead somewhere. Uh, for years, I thought it was an odd thing that I didn't have a favorite color, and I actually didn't admit that I didn't have a favorite color. I was well into my 30s before I finally said, you know what, next time somebody asks me what my favorite color is, I'm just going to tell them I don't have one. And I have since found out it's not that uncommon. But there, there is a, a uh, moral to this story, if you will. When I was in third grade, my third grade teacher, Mrs. Howard, came up with this story about, I think it was part of a workbook or something, uh, talking about if you had a special, special pair of sunglasses that made everything the same color. Now, the ultimate point of that story was you know, variety being the spice of life and too much of a good thing is not necessarily a good thing. And the point they were making was even if you could make everything your favorite color, it wouldn't necessarily be make things better. And so she's talking about these sunglasses and out of the whole class, she, she wanted to call on somebody and ask what their favorite color was. And out of that whole class, she called on me. James, what's your favorite color? Eight-year-old me sat there and thought about it for a second. I don't know if anybody ever asked me what my favorite color was. I thought about it for a second, and I was just about to say, I don't have one. And right before I said it, Mrs. Howard says, oh, come on, everybody has a favorite color. Well, of course, at eight years old, you didn't want to be the weird one that didn't have a favorite color. I said, well, I like chocolate ice cream chocolate's brown so I said brown is my favorite color and of course she went on with the, the deal about the sunglasses well if you had a pair of sunglasses that made everything brown would that be good and I said well no because that would suck if everything was the same color or I didn't say that at eight years old I said I said that in my eight-year-old way which was the crinkle up my nose I go Ew. that that kind of started something because then I had kind of established brown as my favorite color, and so I went out of my way to say, hey, brown's my favorite color, brown's my favorite color. Anytime it came up, I'd see something brown, hey, brown is my favorite color. I guess I was trying to establish even to myself that brown was my favorite color, even though it really wasn't. Brown had its place, but it wasn't necessarily my favorite color. But as, as it goes, when, when things are not actually your favorite, especially when you're a kid, it can change at the drop of a hat. And so I went for, you know, a couple of months there, and I can remember sitting in the floor watching TV and eating an orange. And I'm looking at that orange and thinking, it's funny that it's an orange and it's orange. And so on the spot, I decided that orange was my favorite color. It's no longer brown. I've gone from brown to orange, two completely different colors. I've gone from brown to orange. During all of this, I guess I just decided I needed to have a favorite everything. And since I was such a big baseball fan, especially when I was a kid, because I already had the favorite baseball team, Texas Rangers, and of course the Dallas Cowboys were my favorite football team. Now this was before the Dallas Mavericks even existed. So I convinced myself, I just decided that the Los Angeles Lakers were my favorite basketball team because I needed to have a favorite basketball team, I, I thought. Now the New York Rangers became my favorite hockey team. And I thought that was kind of neat that there was a team called the Rangers. My favorite baseball team was the Rangers. Now my favorite hockey team can be the Rangers too. I didn't know squat about hockey. You never hardly heard anything about hockey down here in North Texas and the you know, mid-1970s, but I had a favorite hockey team. I couldn't tell you two things about golf, but Jack Nicholas was my favorite golfer. I had a favorite everything. Centering off of this, you, everybody has a favorite color. So I guess I just had to get myself prepared. So, hey, somebody said, hey, who's your favorite hockey team? New York Rangers. I didn't have to sit there and go, oh. But staying along that line, I'm, I, I had decided orange was my favorite color. Which it really wasn't, but I had decided it was. 
Well, not long after I'm sitting there eating that orange, it was up around Christmas time, there was this Christmas parade. The Texas Longhorns marching band was in this parade, and so there they're all standing there, and there's all this orange everywhere. And so I decided, there's my favorite college team, the Texas Longhorns. Now, that actually had been posed to me before. Who's your favorite college team? And based, and going off that same thing, I had heard something about Notre Dame on TV, so I just said, oh, Fighting Irish. And I really? Ew. And because of that reaction, I, I said, oh, oh, I can't say that again. <laughs> well, I see this is all is orange, and hey, I've decided orange is my favorite color. So here we go. Texas Longhorns. They're my favorite college team. Now, that one stuck. I still like the Longhorns. But years went by, of course, you know, you couldn't, I couldn't say with orange because orange is just kind of an odd color and you couldn't hardly find, you know, anything. So I, I moved from orange to red. I eventually just adopted black because that's just the easiest color. Black goes with everything. You don't have any problem finding stuff in black. Black is a popular color, so I did black. So they would say, what's your favorite color? Black. I even gave blue a test run. That didn't work out. Blue is my mother's favorite color. But it just didn't work for me. So I just rode along with black. Everybody, everybody, everybody seemed happy with that when, they, when I'd say, what's your favorite color? Black. Okay. Cool. But I don't, I just, eventually I just decided, I'm just going to start telling people I don't have a favorite color. Because I don't. I don't have to have everything in black. I don't necessarily want everything in black. I don't have a favorite color. And after I finally decided that, a couple of other people actually popped up. Yeah, I don't either. And I was like, really? Huh. And then we were sitting there in a little gathering one day, a little get-together. There were like nine of us around the table. And out of the nine of us, something about a favorite color came up. Out of the, the nine people sitting at that table, five of us didn't have a favorite color. So maybe it's not as unusual as I thought. Now it's kind of a good thing in a way because because of trying to find, okay, i got to have a favorite everything, I think that's part of the reason I have such a wide variety of interests. You know, I don't necessarily just concentrate on one thing. I have all that. I like to, to dabble in a little bit of everything. And I think that may be wise because I, I had to look at so many different things as I was growing up to have that favorite, you know. But I think the moral to the story, to me anyway, keep in mind if you're, if you're a parent or a teacher or you're just an adult talking to a kid, kids, listen to what you say. <laughs> Be careful how you word things, because just this offhand comment made when I was eight years old, oh, come on, everybody has a favorite color. For the next 25 years, I had it in my head that I had to have a favorite color. So kids are listening. They may not, you may not think they're listening, and it may not be quite so obvious, but what you say to children can have an effect, and it can have a long-lasting effect. Okay, well, that's, uh, I just thought that was an interesting little thing. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. That, that could fall into the category of uh, things you didn't want to hear. I have since figured out that I, I do like combinations of colors, like black and red. I think my favorite combination, though, is a simple black and white. Just that simple, that, that, uh, severe contrast from as dark as you can get to as light as you can get but anyway like I said, that's my that's my i don't have a favorite color story i hope you enjoyed that hope you enjoyed the ride if you just stumbled across the, the channel uh, i think you know what to do you can click the red subscribe button the one way sign in the corner got the circle at the end and uh if you're already subscribed thanks for coming back thanks for watching till the end and uh, I will see you next time.